along with my GPD WinMax 2 2025 edition with the Ryzen 9 HX370, most powerful PC I own in the smallest form factor I own. It's a tiny 10 inch laptop that I can just chuck in my bag and treat it as my everything everywhere PC. I absolutely love this thing. Why did I choose the GPD? Because it's freaking brilliant. I'm gonna produce a lot of content on this, I think. Not only like am I gonna produce like a lot of content like about it, but I think a lot of the content that I make, I will be editing the video on this because I mean, it's just, I mean, I just think this is amazing. Like we can talk about that. This is, this is great. This is absolutely fabulous, but you can't edit videos on here and I need to edit videos and, and photos. This is a 10 inch laptop, which sure is difficult to use for like typing on for long terms, but it's so portable that it is just incredible. And yet it's so powerful, so powerful. So I will be both talking about that a lot on my channel and also using it to make a lot of the content on my channel as well. Video editing on it is great. Gaming on it is great. But what else should I carry around with it? Well, this was predicted by a commenter that actually he's been using the Remarkable Paper Pro and it kind of didn't make sense next to this because it was so much bigger. So he asked which 10 inch would I actually carry around with it? And one thought that I had was the Note Air 4C. That would be absolutely brilliant because one thing you could do with this is use it as space desk from this device and that would be a really nice way to have that extra screen real estate as long as you were happy to work on e-paper maybe for some type text another one would be the tab ultra c pro but again the tab ultra c pro has a little bit of a cramped keyboard so maybe if you were going to carry something with a keyboard maybe you'd want something with a bigger size and one thing i've just been looking at recently was big me's this little foldable keyboard which actually the keyboard arrangement, especially on this side, the key arrangement is a bit of a nuisance and it's gonna take some getting used to, but actually the keys aren't as dead and rattly as they are on some foldable keyboards that I've used. But then I figured out what I would definitely carry around and will definitely carry around as part of my 10 inch ultra portable setup. That will of course be the Supernote A5X2, which is just that perfect size to accompany this little tablet. And this would be my handwriting, this would be my note taker, this would be my reader of larger academic documents. This would be my sketchbook as well. What a great tablet, what a great space for a creative thinker this thing is. But then I'd want a smaller e-reader as well and one thing I could go for would be the Books Go 7 Color Gen 2. Really nice e-ink screen and also a bit of an Android tablet here as well. But I just don't think I need this larger size e-reader with another stylus when I've got the amazing Supernote stylus with me. But why not just take my Big Me Hybrid Pro as my e-reader. And actually this can be my carry around distraction free. Maybe I'm going for a walk on my travels, something like that. Take this out rather than my bigger OLED phone. And then of course, as part of my travel setup, I'll take my pocket tablet, my OLED phone, my foldable. And I do think this is a really useful way to organize things. It's a great way to watch and consume YouTube videos. Only the best content though, please. So yeah, I think that is my travel setup. Maybe add this keyboard in. And I'm interested that most of this stuff has cellular connectivity. You can actually add, and they are bringing this, although I think it's a bit of a disappointment, you can actually add 4G to this guy. But I think that I won't bother because I think they were overly optimistic of what they could fit into this little screw port. And I think that they are necessitating you take the back plate off and replace parts of it to put in their 4G aerial that they've got going on for it and that's still just coming out it's just starting to ship now i believe they're just doing a limited run i don't think actually it's that necessary because once you've linked a phone to windows then actually it just automatically shares that and it will just go straight onto the cellular connection without having to sort of click any buttons so i think that's absolutely fine and one other thing that i always take with me of course is a camera and i've got two of my serious cameras sitting and recording me right now but actually add to that one of my more compact cameras maybe a couple of lenses and actually this guy in this compact camera bag i can have camera a couple of lenses and a computer to do all the editing in that compact camera bag. Add a couple of microphones 
and it's a YouTube studio. I just am really enjoying this form factor. It reminds me of a computer I had a good few years ago. It was a netbook from Dell and it was pretty much this exact same size, but it had a tiny processor. I think it had one gigabyte of RAM and an eight gigabyte hard drive, <laughs> but it was so nice to use and it was really nice to type on. But whenever you wanted to do anything serious, you were just lost. This, however, you certainly have got enough power to do all the computing you could possibly need to use and have a great time gaming on it as well. Check out my full video on that for a bit of a run through of how I'm using that and see it in action. One big issue with this though would be that camera and microphone though are absolutely atrocious. So I would suggest pairing that with something like one of the cameras from Obspot or IPvo makes some really good webcams as well. And this guy, for instance, I could literally live stream from this and get both my pieces to camera and my top down shots again with something very much matching to that form factor this is the ipvo totem 120. why did i get that instead of the pocket 4? i got it instead of the pocket 4 because it was closest to a full keyboard not quite even as big as the tab ultra c keyboard look which is a shame so it's even smaller than that it's pretty cramped to type on i must admit why not the surface 11 pro well i'm also <laughs> I'm also wondering whether Windows and ARM is really the way to go, because this is a Ryzen 9 HX370, really super fast x86 chip. I'm wondering about Windows and ARM, but certainly that won't be for video editing for some time. Yeah, and I, I wanted that, I, I wanted that size that I can just totally sling into any bag. I can just sling that into. Aeroplane seat, I'm looking forward to that. Sitting in the car, it's really useful. For lots of reasons. And I'm actually really enjoying gaming on it as well. Don't want to get sucked into doing too much of that, but it's really good. And it's performing, like, for me as quite a casual gamer, it's performing really quite well. I'm really, really pleased with that. So let me know what you think. How would you improve that portable setup? The basis of it, the Winmax, my everything PC, an x86 machine with all the power, the SuperNote for my notes, fold free for a tablet for all the Android tablet things in your life, and the Hybrid Pro as my reader and my everyday carry. Pretty sweet.